Hi guys, uh, let's move to first method. Just search CMD in the Windows 10 search box, right click on it and now click on run as administrator. Now once this command prompt window open up, you have to run these two commands one by one. Okay. Just copy these two commands, paste it in, hit enter. Now after that, copy this command and paste and the command prompt window and hit enter. And now try again and your problem will be fixed. Now this command is for 64-bit uh, computers and most of the PCs today are 64-bit computer. But if your computer is 32-bit, then you have to run, you know, you have to remove the 64 and then, you know, run the command, okay. So to know that whether your PC is 32-bit or 64-bit, you can search system information in the Windows 10 search box. Now click on system information and here you can see if it is x64 that means your PC is 64 bit. If it is x86 that means it is of 32 bit. So this was the first method. If this does not work there is one more method which you can try and it is very easy. Just go to this link. I have pasted this link also in the description of the video given below. You can directly click on that link. Just go to the link from github.com. Okay. Now here, uh, just right click on this raw. Okay. Just right click on it raw. Click on save link as. And you know, just download it. Just download it anywhere on your computer. Okay. Now, once it gets downloaded, okay, once it gets downloaded, just click on it to run it. Uh, if it asks that which program you want to run it with, just choose Windows script host. Otherwise, run it directly with no problem at all and this will fix your problem, okay. If this also do not fixes your problem, there is one more thing which you can do and that is just search services in the Windows 10 search box. Now click on services to open it. Now you have to locate this service NVIDIA telemetry container. Just right click on it and now click on properties. Uh, you have opened that particular service, opened the property window of the particular service. Make sure the startup type is automatic and if it is not running, click on start. Right? If it is already running, just click on stop once and then click on start again. Basically restart the service and then click on apply and click on OK and your problem will be fixed. That's it guys. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel for supporting us. Thanks for watching the Geek page.